Hello team, good morning. Welcome back to Cloud Assume channel. In this video, we are going to see how to set up AWS free trial account. And there is an announcement from AWS stating that after 15 July, we are in the current month of August, where we are going to get as a free trial some credits from AWS, right? So let us cross check. It's stating that your customer get up 200 credits and the gain is like 100 credits at a sign up and up to 100 credits more to earn when you explore AWS services, right? So this is an announcement and this is a giveaway came from AWS. So they are more encouraging the students and uh, the enthusiasts about the cloud services to learn their AWS services and even use their uh, AI services, cloud services and different services provided by AWS, right? So in this case, what we are going to see, there are the some existing free plans. So this is up to 200 USD dollar in credit free usage of selected services, no charge in after unless you switch to paid plan, right? Workload scale beyond credit uh, threshold. So we need to pay that, okay? When you're crossing this free tire, uh, what they are giving us the rate of 200 US dollar, if you are exceeding, then we are applicable, applicable to pay their remaining amount. So if I'm going for the paid services, then you see that develop production ready workload with access over 150, AWS services, right? So receive 200 as credit, include free users of selected services, pay beyond credit threshold, right? So workload scale beyond credit. Threshold. So if you are suggesting going with the paid plan, then this all will be applicable. But in our use case, as we are the learners, so we will opt to go for free plan, okay? So what we are going to do, it, this is a Amazon.com, where I'm going to click on the create account, in the create account, they, they will ask you the authentication about email address, right? Different, you need to pass it. So first, it will ask you which email address I'm going to give it. So what I'm going to do, it, I'm going to give it the existing email address, right? Which I have. So you can use any Gmail, uh, uh, Gmail address which exists because there is a one email verification will be sent from AWS. We need to verify in order to proceed further. So account name, I'm giving something like this. Then I'm going to verify with this email. So as you see over here, there is a one verification code has been sent to my email address, right? So what I'm going to do it, I'm going to log in into that AWS account and I'm going to cross check that. Yes, I received. If you check it over here, there is a one email uh, which is stating there is a one OTP has been sent verification code. I'm going to copy this verification code and I'm going to switch back over here, right? where I'm going to paste the verification code, which I received, I'm going to verify. It's stating that it's you, your email address has been successfully verified. Then it's asking me root password, which I'm going to give it, right? I'm going to store that in order to access as well, okay? I'm going to log in now, okay? So first step is to create your passwords so where i'm going to create the user account password so if you're checking that which plan to be choose so currently as a stating that we are going to go for free plan as i mentioned right so we are the learner so what we require we require to use only within 200 dollar and 200 dollar is more than enough when we are in the learning stage right so i'm going to go for choose plan i'm not going to select this so i'll select choose free plan okay so if you check this uh, free plan then it's asking that sign up for aws contact information so i'm going to say that okay uh for my own project i'm going to give it here here and i'm going to give it as Mohammad asim akram whatever name i want to give it phone number they are asking over here so i'm going to give it as a verification of this india uh, where is india right india then it's asking the mobile number which we need to pass it away so i'm going to give it uh, the country and the origin then again i need to pass it india then i'm going to give it existing all the details then that's fine then i'm going to agree and continue further okay so here it's asking either i can use debit card or the credit card in order to access this okay but my recommendation is to proceed with your credit card right because they will detect some amount some of this uh, the debit cards are not even supported, but mostly credits are supported. Okay. okay. So now what I'm going to do it, I'm going to pass with this uh, 
stating uh, right i am going to use my credit card in order to provide all the details right so here simply i am going to fill this credit card details Well, it is asking that automatic payment currently does not support Rupee and Amex. No problem. So I'm going to go with and it's asking that do you have a 10 GD alphanumer issued by Indian economic Tides and they are printed on the format of uh, so I, what I'm going to I'm going to check it at PAN. I'm not going to provide PAN for them because this is only for the learning purpose. So I'm going to say that okay, continue three to four. That's fine. So now our our cards are authenticated behind this. Okay, so when OTP will be received, that OTP we need to pass it, right? That OTP I'm going to insert over here and submit it over here, right? So when your OTP is confirmed, then we are about to move further. Right? Now it's asking further details that we need to pass. So it's enforcing me to give my PAN number over here. So what I'm going to do it, I'm going to give it B A U P A last used. That's fine. Choose the name that you want for. So here I need to upload your document. Please upload your uh, debit or uh, your PAN card in order to verify from AWS, right? So I'm going to select this and I'm going to upload my existing file, okay? So here I'm going to concern that need to be verification that need to be verified, okay? So I'm then we are proceeding for the fifth stage where we need to confirm that one uh, we should be sending verification code that's also fine so what i'm going to read i'm going to give my mobile number of india right so basically this is my mobile number which i'm going to flash it while video this is video will be live okay so security verification that's fine so it's asking me some captcha to cross check i'm a bot or not okay that's also fine I'm going to give the token which I have received. So now if you check over here, it's stating that we are activating your account. It should take a few, make a few minutes. You will receive an email when it is completed. Okay? So in this part of time, you're going to see that our account will be set up. But some of these features will take approximately like 12 to 24 hours to activate for us like ec2 services or vpc services additional services right so what i can do it now i can try to log in and see where do i stand now right where is my uh, new address what we have set up that where i'm going to exist now right so if you check over here i'm able to log in into is using my credentials so that's totally fine username and password i've given but when i'm going to click on this ec2 service and i'm going to check it out what kind of services they will allow me to commit over here right so let me go to an instance so that's fine i can create new instances now okay so that means they have started my account that is in the free tire i can use uh, the free tire services as well as i can take this credit what the amount that 
100 dollar we being able to credit in my account that i'm going to use against the service which are not covered in the free tier okay so if i go in this cloud asim and check over here you are able to find that this credit has been given stating that is 100 dollar is coming up right with this 100 dollar i can use uh, this any services within aws okay so this is the plan which you are going to get it credit so please create your know, aws account so uh, with the new account you are going to get the credit this credit we can use for aws any services provided right for the learning purposes like if you want to learn any ai services you're going to learn any RDS services at that point of that was not being powered in the free tier at that point. Okay. Now everything is uh, you are going to get the credit. With that credit, you can use it. Okay. To make sure that these uh, credits are not redeemable, you can only use their this credit against the services of AWS. Okay. Please don't forget to share, subscribe. See you for the next video.